If you have a list of addresses, here's how you can use Google My Maps to create a map of that data. Here I have a list of libraries in Washington State. This list came from this website, which is about public records, listing various libraries, including their addresses. I would want to fact check it that if I were relying on this information, but we want to just get a quick idea of what's out there. This is what the spreadsheet came in with when I pasted it into Google Sheets. And then I've used the concatenate function in Google Sheets to be able to combine the different address fields into a single address. Google also has some other tools that will do this for you. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that formula all the way down to fill in all my addresses. There are a few gaps in here. Not every single location has a street address and that might cause us some problems later, but we'll deal with that at that point. I'm now going to go to Google My Maps. This can be a little bit hard to access, but if you search for it, you can usually get it to pull up with your account. And we're going to go ahead and create a new map. By default, it shows you your location and will give you an untitled map with these layers. Layers allow us to add different types of information, including some that are built into Google Maps, such as highways or different regions. And we can also import our own information from our Google Sheet. You can also upload this as a file if you have it in that format, but it tends to work really well with files that you've saved into Google. Right now it will bring up my spreadsheet and I can see that it's reading those fields correctly and it wants to know which location I want to use for placing markers on the map. For instance, the city could be, it could do just cities if you want, which can be a handy thing. Um, in this case, I do want that full address column. So this corresponds with the columns that I have listed at the top of my spreadsheet here. And I want that full address. Then I need to pick a column for titling my markers. In this case, I'm going to have the, the library one. In some cases, you can customize these pop-ups as, as well. Here it is working. If we do it correctly, it's going to zoom into the geography where all of our locations are noted. Sometimes if you have an incomplete data uh, format or the spreadsheet isn't formatted quite with complete information, it will include markers in places you might not expect them, like in this case, outside Washington State. This looks pretty good at a glance. I can see that this reflects generally what I know about geography in Washington State, which is helpful because it's an area I'm familiar with. Fact checking this type of information is a lot harder if you're not familiar with the area and what you would expect. It also gives me this little yellow notification here that there are two rows that couldn't be shown in the map and it allows me to open the data table and see what they are. Um, it looks like there's a couple of them where the address isn't really showing up the way that um, it's expected. Sometimes you can edit this here if you know what the address should be. Both of these are very small locations, so I might need to add some additional information like 3rd Street or 3rd Avenue. I can go ahead and double check those addresses, perhaps with those individual libraries, and correct that here. If I did correct it, um, it would regenerate where that location is and would try to match it immediately. With each of these locations, it does include all the information from my original spreadsheet. If there's any information from your original spreadsheet that you don't want included, you do have options to edit what appears here. You can also edit your markers as well. You can change the style of the, of the marker. Um, in this case, I might pick something appropriate for libraries through the more icons option. You can also sort things by color. And if you have a field within your spreadsheet that allows you to uh, separate them by category or location, for instance, maybe the county that they're located in, you could choose a different color based on that information as well.